guys, it's Joe here, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the book, The Retribution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. In the first half of the video, I'm going to be just telling you what the book's about, and not including spoilers, and so I'm just going to start the video. In the beginning of this book, Mara wakes up in kind of like a mental hospital, or however you would say that. Not an insane asylum, but she is talking to Dr. Kells, and something weird is happening to her. She's kind of like immobile if you know what that means i think i know what that means where like she can't move her body but like she's like can think and stuff she can't feel anything and like she's starting to like hallucinate and talk to herself and this was just the big be the beginning and intro of the book somewhat of a spoiler but not really she ends up escaping with jamie and stella who you met in the second book and they make their way towards i think it is new york they make a couple stops in between but their end goal is to go all the way up to New York City. Through most of the book, you do not hear from Noah, so you really see a different side of Mara and how she interacts with Jamie and Stella and how she's different from, you know, being with her boyfriend and now she's with her best friends. Mara goes through a journey where she finds herself but in a very bad and dangerous way. Some things happen and she has to use her abilities to defend herself and her friends. That is all I'm going to say for the non-spoilery part of the book and if you want to know more continue watching but if you don't want to know more and you haven't read this stop the video and I will say I rated this book I think 4 out of 5 or I think it was 5 out of, it was like 4.5 out of 5. I really liked it. It like had me on a very emotional journey and if you stay more for the video I can tell you why but it's very spoilery so there's a reason i'm not going to tell you but i really did like this book and if you picked up the first and second one you should really pick up this third one now going into the spoilers the first thing that i wanted to mention was i didn't really like the beginning when she couldn't really control what she was saying and thinking like in her head she was like no i don't want to be here i don't want to help you but her mouth was saying yes i will help you and that was something i really did not like in the book I kind of wish that she would have fought through it, even though it was something that she couldn't. Throughout the book, I saw the friendship with her, Jamie, and Stella, and I really liked the fact that, no offense, Noah was not there, and she was making new friendships with Jamie and Stella, and obviously she, she was friends with Jamie beforehand, so it just makes it a little bit better. Although I did like seeing Mara have new friends, I really wish Noah would have come in earlier. I kind of was thinking... Is he even going to come back? Is is he actually dead? Because we didn't get any clarification if he was dead or not until like the third, like one or three fourths of the way through. And it was kind of just stressful because I was like, okay, so is he actually alive? Is he dead? Mara thinks he's alive. Everyone else thinks he's dead. I don't, I didn't really know what to think about Noah. Now, towards the end of the book, when the whole, oh, Noah's dad's been behind all of this. Mara's killed a bunch of people, and now Mara has to die by Noah in order to save her brother. And I was just going crazy, I was crying, and there was a lot of things happening. I 100% cried when Mara died, came back to life, Noah was dead, he came back to life. The whole, like, outline of how that happened, I was bawling. I actually, in my stupid... <laughs> vlog of reading the series you would have seen me crying and explaining as to what has happened but that got deleted because there were some malfunctions in the videos which were my fault but it maybe if I like find it in my computer I will like show you a clip real quick but I don't really think that I think I deleted it. Before the ending when they met up with Daniel I thought I had read a spoiler earlier on saying that Daniel was behind everything and it was kind of freaking me out and I'm really glad that he wasn't behind everything because that would have just been the total worst brother ever. And I really like the relationship between Mara and Daniel. And it's kind of like a relationship that you want to have with your own siblings. And I don't know. I was just super happy that he wasn't actually evil. Although I did have a few speculations that he also carried the gene and that he possibly also had powers. But something I don't get about this book is, yes, Mara has powers. But what about her two other siblings? Like, Mara wasn't created this way. She was born into it. So why couldn't Daniel and Joseph be born into it? Like, I had these thoughts. The ending was actually really great. And I was super happy how they ended up together. And they were like, we're going to be best friends. Noah 
and Mara are officially together. They're going to live together. And obviously they have to create a story for their parents, which I thought was going to get a little bit more complicated than it actually was. And I'm glad it wasn't super complicated, but I'm honestly, I'm happy they could figure something out without causing any more trouble. My thought at the end of the book was I am super excited and ready to read the next part of the series, which was the Noah Shaw series, which I'll be talking about soon. I really loved the ending in this entire book and I rated it a 4.5 out of 5. I don't think it was a 5 out of 5 because I didn't love the whole book, but I loved pretty much most of the book. I think it was the beginning that really took away that 0.5. I didn't like what was happening. And yes, I know this was kind of like a dark thing that happened, but uh, the rape scene I was fine with. I kind of expected it to happen because, you know, they're teenage girls and this is a grown man and I did have a feeling that was going to happen so I wasn't really surprised. And I wasn't really surprised when Mara killed him too. But what I really didn't like about this book is Stella. Stella was the person I didn't like. I liked her at first when they were like friends and stuff. But then I didn't like the whole she's walking out on Mara and Jamie. Props to Jamie for not leaving. I give him total credits and best friend points because honestly I wouldn't have left either but I could see the point where Stella was a little scared and why she left. I don't know but I'll get more into Stella's character in spoiler the next book or the first Noah Shaw book and I will explain why I have mixed feelings about Stella. I've actually by the time I'm filming this I've already read the first and second book in the Noah, Noah Shaw trilogy and so, yes, this is why I have a little bit of mixed opinions, but I'm not going to tell you about them until I do book reviews. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Comment down below if you've read the series and what other opinions you have. Try not to leave spoilers for other readers that could possibly actually want to read the series. And like this video and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. And I do other videos like Sims videos or I'm starting to want to do vlogs and tags. And yeah, you'll just be seeing a lot more from me. So, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Did my invitations disappear? What I put my heart on every cursive letter?